Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to more Hearts of Iron 4. Today we are taking a look at an overhaul mod called the Great War Redux. Now we've actually already played with the Great War mod, the original one on the channel before, as Italy, and we had a fair bit of fun with that. But my understanding is that is a somewhat older mod that gets updated to kind of fit with the latest content, but it's not really adding anything new. The Great War Redux mod is supposed to be the one that's getting constantly new development, new focus trees, and so on. So I thought, all right, let's go ahead and give that one a shot today. Have a bit of fun back in World War I. Now, as far as what nation to pick, there are quite a few good options in World War I. I think I'm going to try choosing France. It's been a long time since we played with the French. Though the United States could be kind of fun as well, to be honest. We might come back to that under William Taft and see if we can go for like a libertarian USA playthrough or something. But we played almost everyone else semi-recently, exception maybe being the Germans, the Austrian, and Hungarians. But I've looked at their national focus trees, and the Germans is extensive, but... The Austrian Hungary, not as much. I, I think France could be a pretty fun little middle ground. Obviously, a nation that was pretty much in the thick of things right off the bat. Though I'm not sure they're going to have a lot of options to go for alt history and conquering large chunks of the world, but we will see. In 1870, France was dealt a blow by the forming German Empire in a crushing war which saw the loss of Alsace Lorraine. This made an implacable enemy of France who has been licking her wounds since. Though the territory is German-speaking, the French people simply will not let this humiliation stand. Fortunately, French diplomacy has built an entente cordial with the United Kingdom and Russia. When war breaks out, surely the Germans will crumble. The matter is, of course, when. Okay, so we're going to be fighting all over uh, alsace lorraine primarily. Makes sense. Um, we do have Captain of Industry as uh, our leader's trait right off the bat, which I love, because that means we should be able... To build up our early game economy faster than most nations right away. We do start off apparently with the Social Democratic Party and a few other modifiers that I am sure we're going to get into a little bit later. Not Iron Man mode, that seems good. And France at regular difficulty? Perfect, let's jump into a game. Okay, now the first thing we always do is jump into the National Focus Tree to see what we're looking at. It's fairly large and extensive. Now most of this will get narrowed down depending on which political branch we decide to go for. The first thing we have to do, of course, is exonerate Dreyfus, which gets me a lot of political power and some sort of an event. That could be kind of fun. But beyond that, then you get to choose what kind of ideology you want to go for. Do we want to go for the socialists and try to become kind of communistic slash syndicalistic? In which case, we're almost going down a Kaiserreich kind of direction, aren't we? That could be interesting. Probably would mess up a lot of things with the Entente, but fun. We could stick with the Social Democrat Compromise, which uh, tries to mix the liberal policies of the center um, and the more classical liberal side of things, plus the far left. So that's kind of what we are right now. We could stick with that. We could also save the Republic, which sticks with more democratic focuses here. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to work. Let's see, our alliance will combine moderate and socialist and radical seats. Um, okay. So, there's probably a lot of different party things to worry about. I'll come back to this in a second. And then on this side, we have the right-wing party, which can go either down a fascistic direction, or we can go for more of a, um, a monarchist route, with the Bonapartes or the Oriol, uh, Orleanists. Nists? However you're supposed to say that. Which is the only way that I know of that could lead to war and becoming a proper empire. I'm tempted to go down this route only because y'all know I love being able to conquer people and taking over the low countries would be kind of fun if I'm being completely honest. But regardless, we know we have to start with this one exonerating Dreyfus. So let's go ahead and pick that up first. As far as our national spirits, we have Memories of 1870, which is hitting my population and my surrender limit. That's terrible and we need to get rid of that oh, pretty quickly. Uh, artisanal industry is reducing factory output by 20%. That's truly abysmal and we have to get rid of that. A disjointed government, low stability and lose a lot of political power. Also terrible. President Armand Fillerier, or however you say that, stability. Okay, you're pretty good. The Democratic Republican Alliance. A gathering of moderate liberals and independent radicals. Interesting. Champagne riots. Consumer goods, stability and socialism support. Ow! Yeah, if we're going to try not going down a socialist route, then we need to get rid of that right away. So, we do have a party ideology of 61% control here. There's the socialists. We also do have the proto-fascist and authoritarians. Okay. Is there anything in here? Oh, there we go. Decisions. There's a parliamentary system in France, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. 
Okay, so this actually goes to like uh, the way the United States would run in Vanilla Hoy 4, where you actually have to compete between two parties, the Republicans and the Democrats, in order to actually do anything. In this case, the National Assembly has several parties we have to keep an eye on, and I'm gonna have to form political coalitions. Oh, oh, this is gonna be fun, okay. We could do some rallies uh, and or some speeches of some sort, which if we do, will change some of the seats. Popular liberal action. Hmm, more support for the monarchy. Okay, uh, rally socialists and left-wing Democrats and also socialists for the far left. So I'm gonna go with socialists are not communists in this game and we wanna make a uh, an alliance of liberals and socialists if we're going down a more of a republic route. So the question is which side do I really wanna go for? Great question. Um. Honestly, I'm, 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 I'm leaning toward maybe we become an empire, but it'd be kind of okay to stick with a semi-historical route. But I want to conquer land. Conquest is fun. You know what? All right, we're going for a royalist demonstration. I mean, sue me. Once again, uh, Provis decides he's going to go for uh, the monarchy roots instead of following something democratic. But let's be honest, alt history in uh, in uh, monarchies is kind of fun. Anyway, let's go ahead and make sure we get a whole bunch of civilian factories up and running. We need to go for some tech. Uh, I do see a lot of things are looking different, but I think for the most part are the same. There are some exceptions. We have motorized, but I don't see any sort of sign of mechanized. So it's not like everything's a reskin. There are some genuine differences. And tanks as a rule, you can see here, are gonna look different, which makes sense. In World War One, it's not like tanks were that big of a thing, am I right? Let's go for those machine tools, let's go for the construction tech, and of course, let's go, well, we already have electrical engineering, uh, plus that, that's pretty nice. We don't need to go for the analytical machine. We also have mechanical, motorized vehicles, research speed, there's two levels of that there. Interesting, okay, so we have a couple different things to worry about there. Could go for resources, not a terrible idea. We already have access to airship bombers? Ooh, I can have blimps! That's gonna be great! Better destroyers to go for a navy? Maybe. Artillery won't change what I produce. Armored cars we've got. I've got everything I care about here. So maybe motorized just so I have the option. Better yet, we'll go for resources just so I know that I have extra resources to trade away in case I need some of that. All right, get all the armies together, split these guys up. We have a couple groups, send these guys into some field marshals. We'll worry about the rest in a little bit. I'll worry about templates in a little bit. Got a few military factories. We're gonna go primarily for artillery and infantry equipment, I think. Uh, given that this is World War I, of course, we know that trench warfare is going to be oh so very critical. So I wanna make sure that we get some of that going. We should probably make at least a few convoys. We'll do that. And then pre-dreadnoughts? I think we go for the early submarine hulls to start. And if we can get some more dockyards freed up, we're going to go for some more uh, destroyers. And then after that, maybe we continue with the cruisers. All right. We do something kind of like this just so I don't have to worry about it for a bit. I do have colonial troops. Let's go ahead and set them up to a totally separate commander. Because, of course, these are guys I'm going to have to worry about. Right. Yeah, the French do kind of have empires, don't they? All over Africa. This is going to go over great. Mm, Madagascar, too. Madahua? Um, all right. Yeah, lots of colonial troops. And Southeast Asia as well. So, for now, let's go ahead and do just a couple of simple garrison orders in some of these areas. I'm not going to worry too much about all this. What is going on over here, actually? Wait a minute. We're at war with somebody. Bye. Hold the phone. Top priority, crush them. Finish these guys off. I wasn't expecting to be at war already, but we are, in fact, at war already. Okay, anything else I'm worried about? Uh, we need to trade for some chromium. I can trade with, let's say, the UK, since they're going to be my buds. Get some of that going. What's my consumer goods look like? Not great, but we're starting off with nine civilian factories. I mean, I've seen worse, all right? I've seen much worse than this. This is sort of okay. Intervene in Morocco. Why? Our control over Morocco is enough to remove what little autonomy the Malay Abdefalid government has. Establish a protectorate of Morocco. France occupying Fez. That could be kind of fun. We can pull out of Wadai in the Wadi War. Mm, I could do that, or we could just stick with it. Anything else? Factories? Reorganize the railway for supply hubs. I'll worry about this later. And if I have more supply hubs, this goes away on its own. Yeah, no, I don't think we need to mess with any of this right now. This political system fascinates me. I'm very curious to see what's gonna go on with this. I am going into this, as you might expect, somewhat blind. 
So it is entirely possible that uh, I'm gonna make some mistakes as far as like what's the best play here. But we'll see. Uh, let's see, entrenchment in Europe makes a lot of sense to me. Reconnaissance could be good. Um, promotion, engineer, defense, logistics. Better against rivers and against forts. I could see that being great. Marshes, commando. Um, and then you can be a theorist. I think we'll just go ahead and put you in charge over there for the moment, and then we'll put somebody decently good at attacking stuff here. That'll work. All right. We'll go for that for our initial setup. So I don't imagine this will take too long. 70 days for a first focus is actually unusually long. Okay. What is this? We are at risk of another member of the faction taking over. The Russian Empire can almost take over the faction. Well, that's great. Wait until they have a civil war. All right? We all know it's going to happen. We all know it's going to happen. They're going to have a civil war, and then what are they going to do? Absolutely nothing. Let's go ahead and deal with these guys. They have extremely low supply, so I'd imagine that even though fighting in Africa is terrible... When you say fighting in Africa is terrible, which is to say me, uh, I ain't kidding. Why is this so bad? River crossing, experience, weather, planning bonus. Our soft attack value is non-existent. What are my templates exactly? Hang on. Soft attack of 35. Wow, that's pretty low. Okay. Uh, we got 27 combat width, which I find somewhat surprising. In Africa, wow, what the heck are some of these divisions? What is going on with this? 48? 42? These are huge divisions. Now this sounds like what we've got. Three infantry. Yeah, we've got it. We've got the abysmal ter uh, infantry templates out over here. Okay, well that's that's probably fine. Wait until we get some more reinforcements, and even with our horrible numbers, we should be able to win this. Do I have any planes? Answer: Yes, I've got some. Do we have an airport? Nowhere. You know what would actually help? You build a single airbase over here. It doesn't take very long to build, and then with a little bit of air support, we quickly take these guys down. We can try for something like that. Supply is terrible in Africa, and frankly, I don't really desire to get uh, bogged down there at all. I would really like to not get involved in Africa as much as possible, even though, historically speaking, the French had a pretty darn large empire all over France. France, Africa. France had a large empire in Africa. But I don't really like it. I just don't want to know it. Who's this, by the way? The Kedivit of Egypt. Hello. You are a puppet of the UK. The UK is going to have lots of fun, aren't they? Yeah, they got lots of territory and colonies and stuff of their own. Oh, fun. Hey, the great Qing. King. Whoever you call these guys. Yeah, I'm betting we're going to see, uh, we might see some interesting actions in China later. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, traits. Can we get any new traits I care about? Defensive, offensive, aggressive, ass uh, assaulter. I like that idea, but I'd rather have that on someone else. Oh, wow, it's already been 70 days? Good lord, I forget. Okay, so Dreyfus. Lieutenant Colonel Dreyfus was cleared of charges against him in 1906. The Jewish soldier got accused in 1894 of spying for Germany. Of Alsatian and Jewish origin, the officer was wrongly convicted, even suffering an assassination attempt in 1908. A specialized military commission re-examines the Dreyfus case, authorizing him to return to service in the army at the rank of major. Hatred from the German Empire, combined with latent anti-Semitism, made this man's life unlivable. It behoves the Republic not to... behooves, you mean? Not to reproduce such errors again. That's how we're gonna start? Okay. So, do we go for this? I think we kind of already decided we're doing this. We're gonna change the popularity of authoritarianism and proto-fascism, gaining 80 seats in the process, and some daily support for the authoritarian uh, group. Seems all right to me. Could modify uh, an army corps. We can go for a theorist using our political power. Land doctrine cost. Army experience gain. Or trench warfare. Oh, the thing is, 10% entrenchment is actually really tempting. But I also know that I like the idea of getting free army and navy experience and then getting more army experience whenever we do something. This isn't exactly the same as passive army experience, but it's something. I'm gonna spend some political power doing that, though we also do want to change to something like early mobilization. I can't though, why not? The X here say, it's not just the cost, there must be something else involved here. What else is preventing me? Do I, I have to be 
At war, more than 10% world tension. Yeah, that's what I've got. I'm, I'm used to seeing like some X's saying, hey, you don't actually have what you need, but okay. We can't change our economic law then. Fine, what other options we got here? A truth seeker for political power gain. Yes, please. More political power means more modifications in the future, which is good. What can you do, by the way? Camouflage experts, paratroopers, supply grace. That's none of that's helpful to me. Yeah, these are tactics that will do me absolutely zero good. Uh, our supply is predictably going to be abysmal. How's that airbase doing? It should be done, actually. Yep, okay, hang on. Grab what few planes we've got. Mostly I just want some close air support. Set them up here in Central Africa. Strategic bombing is my only option? No close air support? Well, that's disappointing. Fine. We go for this just to get ourselves at least a few extra little boosts. So you guys all attack here. You guys can try attacking here, but I feel like that's going to cause losses. Let's do this. This seems to be a resounding victory. Now we've got some soft attack values. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, some slightly larger divisions have come into play. A comet was sighted. What an interesting phenomenon that did not reduce my stability. Ha 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 ha. All right, we'll get in over there. Fight these guys down. Attack reinforce. Perfect. So with all of this going, we should be able to overcome, even though the stats are terrible, enough of them should be focused firing the same folks so we can burn down their strength and organization bit by little bit. Yeah, like these guys have nowhere to retreat, so they should die. This is gonna be more costly than it really ought to be, but all right. So we're forming the Proud Hon Circle. Proud ho 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 circle. What does this even say? Last 40 years have proven the French Republic is weak. The best years were under the reigns of kings and emperors. Where's the lie, though? I mean, really, where is the lie? There isn't one. Naval experience, industrial innovation. This seems like something I kind of need. Let's let's not forget that as good as it is to go down all this political stuff, it'd be real good to also work on getting our industry figured out pretty quick. I'll bet you something here is gonna get rid of whatever that modifier was that's killing me, too. We'll worry about some of that later. So the question to me is, which route do we go after this, though? Do we go for the far right for the first time France becomes the far right in World War I? Ban socialism, French superiority, go for an authoritarian coup? French expansionism, lots of free claims. Ooh, that could be kind of fun. Or do we go down like the Bonapartes? Restore the empire. Now see, there's something I kind of like. Just saying. Napoleonic pride? Restore the Franco-Russian friendship? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, a lot of this seems pretty good. What about the Orleanists, though? Authoritarianism goes up. Return a king, a new Philippe VIII. Okay, and then mobilization speed. Doesn't seem that great. So as long as we are... Repeal the law of exile. This does not say you have to go for remember 1812. No, you do. Okay, so if I want to go for Napoleonic Pride plus Restoring the Empire, I need to go down the Bonaparte route. I was curious if I go for the Orionists, will it allow me to also go down this? But it looks like the answer is no. We would be able to do things like buying the army loyalty, repealing the Law of Exile, and working on stuff down over here, sure. But that's about it. And this does not get me all the free claims I want, though it looks like we would be able to have some sort of a pressure against Switzerland. So if I want to go for conquest, I don't want to go down the Orleanists. I need to go down Bonaparte or the far right. You know, if we want to go for some true art history, we could go far right. It'd be different. I have no idea if it's good, but it'd be different. Never gone for a fascist French playthrough, have you? I don't think you have. Let's see. Oh, army experience gain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this would probably be good to get. Um, artillery expert makes a lot of sense to me. Division recovery rate, attrition reduction. This seems like it's a good choice. I'm gonna go for that, start getting some passive army experience going. Seems solid. Early machining tools are done. Do we go for dispersed or concentrated? I love the base and retention of efficiency. I really do. To me, I think that's still gonna end up being better. We have formed the Proud Ho 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 Circle. 
During the conflict between the Reichstag and the Kaiser, Wilhelm II uh, adopted several decrees that expanded the powers of the Prime Minister and the internal affairs of the country. Recognizing the inferiority of the constitutional system, the Kaiser des uh, decided to reform the state system for the benefit of the German people and their empire allies. This seems like it's just news about them. I thought for a second this is about to be a news flash about what's going on over here in France, but it is not. It is not. Uh, base war support? No. I think we go for the far-right supporters and start going for the proto-fascism. Wasn't expecting to take this route, but here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. We still haven't overcome this? For God's sake. All right. Um... Let's get some more flanking in, because that's part of why we're losing here. Some of the extra modifiers from attacking from multiple directions is kind of important. Their commander has been disbanded and then restored, okay. Somehow they're backing off into this territory, getting themselves back under track, and then coming in over here. I don't like that these guys are giving them rooms to, um, they have military access. I don't like that you're letting them restore themselves over here and getting their organization back. Would you please stop it? Because I need to focus on killing these guys, and you're making it very difficult for me to do that if you keep letting them recover. Revolution in Portugal. What happened? The Portuguese Republic. They're social liberals. Good for them. Um, we're probably going to have to kill you all. <laughs> because it sounds like I'm going for the proto-fascists. All right, come on. Encircle again. Come on, we just got to burn this organization down enough. Keep them out of here. Focus on them a little bit faster. I know supply is bad, but we're getting them little bit by little bit. Ooh, one of my friends is playing Dark Souls 2. Good choice. Oh, but Dark Souls 2 sucks! Shut up. It's fine. Better land forts. If we want to have upgraded forts, we have to go for tech. Now that's interesting. Synthetic oil, fuel gain per oil. Question, do I even have any oil? Uh, we can first off stop trading for chromium now that I'm producing a bit more. No, we aren't producing any oil. So if I want to go down this route, it doesn't do me a lot of good. Unless I'm able to produce it. Where do I gain the ability to build this? I must already start with it. Well, we're probably going to want that at some point, but oil's not going to be as crucial because I'm not going to be relying on tanks in this game. I would like to go for an early upgrade for things like destroyers and submarines. I don't need upgrades for any of this. We didn't go for motorized. Let's go ahead and research that and finish it off. And there we go. Now they've capitulated. The Wadai War is done. Bada freaking boom. Okay, so now we need to split you guys up. Uh, we go for a few garrisons in a few different spots, namely against the Germans where possible. But in case there's anything else, let's say up over here uh, around Morocco would make sense. And then a couple of troops here in Southeast Asia, maybe somebody in Madagascar, all of this seems reasonable, and somebody up over here. There we go. Alright, so let's just go ahead and split those troops up. They'll be my colonials, at least until such a time I decide I need to bring some more troops up to the front. Which we could do still, I don't know. I wouldn't mind being able to train some of these troops, see if we can get at least a bit more experience. Make them regulars. Question what my logistics look like, though. Yeah, my infantry equipment and my artillery needs are kind of abysmal. We'll work on that, though. More dockyards? Uh, we'll go for some more subs. Sure, why not? Seems reasonable. We're producing them at a fairly okay rate, actually, surprisingly. So let's see, how are we doing as far as, let's see, the Radical Socialist Party is by a long shot the strongest. The popular liberal action needs a bit of work. We could go for this event here in Morocco. And I guess I should try it. Let's see what this event does. If I have to restart, I have to restart. I hate having to do that, but there we go. They become a French protectorate. Huzzah! And I've just taken over Morocco. Yay! Free territory is free! I mean, it only cost me 50 political power to just get some free stuff there. I like it. All right, so revive the national spirit. More proto-fascism support for a while. Sure. Political party. The right and far-right parties merge, so we'll have a coalition already built up. The election's not until 1914, though, right? Persecute minorities? Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. I might get myself in a little bit of trouble. Um... It would, it would make sense to do some of this. What are my other options, though? Franco-Italian ties support Serbia. Franco and Ottoman. Can't do this. Support somebody in Greece. Influence their politics. So we can start trying to build a faction, huh? What does this do? Research bonuses for industry. Important, but not this second. Army loyalty would be good, but I don't need it this second either. I think for now, we're going to go ahead and revive the National Spirit since uh, 720 days is a full two years of trying to build up some support. Makes sense to me. 
The Russians are 99% of the way towards taking over the faction. Well, I'm trying to build more factories. Revolution in Mexico? Ole! This is good! The country shall be governed by somebody who really loves his people. I dance, I dance, I dance around the Mexican hats. That's not the song. I know that, by the way. Uh, or is it? Wait. Now I'm confused about memes. United Mexican States, classical liberals. Yes, more classical liberals. Oh, the United States is classical liberal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My personal ideology, the one that is often overlooked these days because it's become a little bit too much of a meme by certain figures on the internets. Thanks for that, guys, for sullying a perfectly good ideology. Anyway, um, so we're gonna start building up some support locally for the proto -fichists. We are reducing, no, we're not. Socialism is currently on the rise because of champagne riots. We will need to get rid of that, but right now they're primarily eating into the Democrats, so I don't know, horseshoe theory being what it is, maybe I can convince the socialists to join my side temporarily in order to get rid of the liberals, and then I betray them all. And then the far right takes over or something like that, I don't know. I mean, maybe. How are we doing logistically? Turns out training is very expensive. The Siege of Sydney Street. After a series of murderers and robbers by a Latvian gang headed by blah, 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 blah. I was going to say this sounds a little Pinky Blinders, but Peaky Blinders, not Pinky. Peaky Blinders, but apparently not. Is that, what's Churchill doing there? That's a great question. What is Churchill doing there? Modify the officer core. Ooh, we could do something. I can get another specialist, really? More specialists who are going to give me more experience? Ooh. I mean, more division attack, and the earlier you get the experience, generally speaking, the better, because army experience is so very important. I actually should check. I assume... Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, I'm on the officer cores. Of course, doctrines are going to be based off of experience. So, grand battle plan. Um, I mean, it's a thing. Obviously, this is what was historically actually used. It looks to me... Maneuver superiority. Yeah! Yeah, 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 mobile warfare has been reworked. So they're actually, yeah, and cult of the offensive. We have four different doctrines that are actually all based around the idea of World War I trench warfare rather than uh, trying to co-opt the uh, Hoi 4 vanilla system. That actually makes a lot of sense, but it makes me wonder if the Grand Battle Plan doctrine is what I actually want then. I mean, I don't know. Not that Grand Battle Plan's that bad, per se. If you're going to have a lot of leg infantry... Which we probably are. It's okay. I just don't know how all this has been changed. I can see that artillery gets you a lot of organization and stuff. Uh, there does appear to at some point be a version of tanks. Fire cover, integrated support, breakthrough. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's best. These all seem okay. I guess we could stick with Grand Plateau Plan just because it's something I kind of literally never do. I never use Grand Battle Plan in the uh, base game. So we might as well keep it now. I'm just having a little bit of fun with it, you know what I mean? So, at least the, uh, how are you say that, Briand? Uh, I would like for you to stay in power for at least a beat, because I'm loving that whole captain of industry thing that you're doing. It's pretty cool. Um, we need the ruling party to become proto-fascist, and or we need to see some more world tension, though, so I can go for early mobilization, which actually we're at 9% world tension. We're not that far off on this, and then I could go to a better economy. We do need to get that going kind of soon. So, let's see. Prepare for the next elections. We could get some political power. Yeah, let's do that. Get the political power, because I think there's a chance that we're going to see that uh, world tension jump up. And I want to have enough political power handy to immediately jump onto early mobilization and reduce the consumer goods, but also improve greatly by 20% our civilian factory construction speed. Because Lord knows we really need to make sure we get this economy up and running quick. The Germans are going to have some powerful industry on their side. We're not weak. France usually has a good economy. But usually a terrible military economy. So I don't know. Somehow I've got a snowball. We'll see how all of that ends up working. But for now, I think we end this video. So a far right wing uh, France playthrough in World War I. Really going to go for that alt history and we're going to see what happens here. But the proto-fascists are on the rise. And there goes the guy I asked please not to leave. A guy with a stammer instead. Tell you what, I'm going to run this as long as I can so he stays in power until he eventually just leaves. I'm not going to accept his resignation until he just leaves office. You can't quit. You must... No, wait. Yes? I can't fire you. You will quit.
Yes, that's what I'm going for. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.